Our mission of the center is to be able to completely assess the patient who has a complex or failing wound to determine any components that need to be corrected so that we can drive the uh, ultimate healing of those wounds. We've completed construction, which doubled our uh, space for patient treatment areas, operating with two hyperbaric chambers to expand to four chambers uh, as the volume rises. So operating as a comprehensive wound care center, we would take care of wounds for all body parts, so essentially head to toe. Certainly having multiple specialties available in close proximity because the field involves multiple body systems and other procedures that need to be done outside of the clinic setting, uh, we have easy access to both the specialists and their facilities to be able to coordinate that care. We ask for referrals from any of the providers who uh, have a question about a wound or have a wound that perhaps they've been working with and uh, they're not getting the results that they uh, would hope for. It is certainly helpful to have that referral and some introductory information so that we can be sure that it's going to be the right patient and when we do get them set up that we can be prepared to start their care as soon as they come to the clinic. In the facility having diagnostics, lab testing, imaging, x-rays uh, available, we can oftentimes uh, have the patient go directly from the clinic to get those studies done and then incorporate that in their plan of care. When you incorporate the hyperbaric medicine aspect, then we open up to other patients who have got wounds from things such as delayed effects of radiation therapy, folks who have surgical complications, whether it's plastic surgery or uh, patients who have general surgery or traumatic surgical problems such as compartment syndromes, uh, folks with orthopedic problems who might have chronic infections of the bone, uh, having that oxygen therapy component to add that last missing piece of the puzzle uh, is often helpful. So the patient would uh, come, they'd lay on the bed, they'd have their gowns, we provide a sheet and blanket for them if they need to, we would pick up the bed to the appropriate height. We would slide the bed up to the chamber. Patient is then just slid into the chamber. You have access to a TV. You can watch a TV or listen to shows. From the time the door closes, the pressure starts to change, but it's no different than if you're flying in an airplane. What you experience is the need to be able to equalize or pop your ears. We can certainly communicate with the patients. Uh, the patients can just talk freely. There's an internal speaker that we can hear the patient, but in order for us to be able to communicate uh, to them to get into that speaker system, we have a handset. We have volume controls to manage the patient environment. They'll hear a fan blowing in the chambers during the course. That's just the air exchange going through the exhaust system. In the center, we're providing capacity to have uh, advanced dressings. Uh, we're using uh, other advanced modalities such as uh, connective tissue uh, products, used to be called skin substitutes, such as porcine intestinal materials, umbilical graft materials, human skin allografts that we can apply in the clinic setting. The team that we've assembled here at this center has uh, got a broad experience in wound care. A tremendous amount of education goes on with the patient and their caregivers while they're here. Having frequent uh, exposure to the patients, uh, we're often uh, successful in being able to make some of that conversion to help people stop smoking, which has a, a great influence on the failure of a wound to heal weight management, uh, fluid management, medications reviews, all becomes a vital part of our ability to be able to help the wounds to heal. There are a lot of wounds uh, that are out in the community that are in need of attention. We now have that capacity to be able to open the doors and welcome them in.